Welcome. I want to discuss something important pertaining to the neck region. I want you to understand a little bit about symptoms, particularly in areas of the arms, the chest, the fingers, and what it really means. Now understand as a clinician or a diagnostician or a physician, our job is to make a proper diagnosis. So if you're having pain or tangling or numbness in a particular area, I think it's fair that the patient like you should understand exactly where it's stemming from. There's only one way to help a patient. That is to educate them, educating them so they understand what is happening so they can help manage their own condition. Looking at the spine, the cervical spine, you have seven cervical vertebrae. In between the vertebrae, you have discs. At the disc level, you have nerves called spinal nerves. These yellow nerves is what innervates all the cells of our body. They go to the muscles, the bones, the joints, as well as the organs. The most important thing I want you to understand is that these particular nerves affect down into the shoulder, into the chest, in the mid back, as well as into the arms, hands, and fingers. So in other words, when you have a specific symptom of tingling, maybe in the first uh, or second finger, or burning in the fifth finger, or a sensation along the medial portion right in here of the forearm, that can tell you, which I will show you, where that particular problem is exactly coming from in most cases. When we look at cervical radiculitis, or radiculopathy, or neuropathy, we're looking at nerves that are stemming from a particular area that's causing symptoms somewhere else. There's always communication between the brain and the part of your body that's hurting. It has to run through these cables called spinal nerves, which are these yellow nerves. These spinal nerves control everything in your entire system. The tingling, the numbness, the cramping, the pain, the weakness all come as a result of problems within these spinal nerves. There are eight cervical spinal nerves, even though there are seven cervical vertebrae. The first spinal nerve comes underneath the occipital area above the first vertebrae called the atlas. It makes its way down. So usually the most involved nerves usually stem from the mid cervical region. Here's a normal cervical ordotic curve. Spending lots of time in a forward head posture, arms out in front of you, texting, computer, writing, reading, sitting up in bed, bad posture. This causes this lordotic curve to become straightened or reversed, causing the weight of the head being 12 pounds to have excessive stress and load primarily in the middle part of the neck, generally affecting the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh nerve root. So generally most people who have symptoms, it's going to affect those nerve roots, which is mainly going to affect the arms, the hands, the fingers. You can see the cervical nerve roots, C3, C4, C5, C6. You can see how it makes its way down the outside of the form. Very common people may experience weakness in the biceps or even tingling along that, the thumb or the second finger. You can see it's how the C6 nerve root is innervated. The middle finger usually is C7 nerve root. As you go to the last fourth and fifth fingers, the C8 nerve root, as it makes its way up back into the arm on the other side, you can see the T1 and the T2 nerve root. Realize when you say T1 or T2, we're talking about the thoracic, which is down below. So I want you to have an understanding, a better understanding, that when you have these symptoms, the tingling, the numbness, the cramping, the weakness, you can see those nerve roots from the neck, what they're innervating. You'll have a better understanding. How do you correct these? First, you have to make the right diagnosis. You have to put the puzzle together. Now understand that if you're having tingling or numbness and you're not having weakness, no muscle weakness, no muscle atrophy, which is loss of muscle, and you have normal reflexes where you're not having any loss of reflexes, then you're in the go zone. The go zone means that you have to continue to move forward, strive forward, even though you're having some pain, even though uh, you're having the tingling. Understand when you give proper treatment, okay, and you do the right things for this condition, the body will respond. When the neurons, particularly within the nerves, are damaged, it takes, uh, it takes plenty of time, weeks, months, for those neurons to rejuvenate. 
Understand that the disc, the compression of the disc can cause compression on the nerve root. It can come from spondylosis, arthritic changes, degeneration, disc degeneration. There are many different factors like spinal stenosis. So for this particular video, my main objective is to give you an understanding why you're having this problem and where it's stemming from. If you have any questions, leave them below. I ask you to share this video for others because I'm sure they can benefit by watching this. I ask you to subscribe so you can continue to become more educated and get more self-help videos for you and your family and loved ones. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.